Hello everyone and welcome back to Lick Library. My name's Lee Fuge and today we're going to be having some fun with Whammy Bar. We're going to be talking about how to dive bomb. So this is just a fun lesson to give you some cool dive bomb tips and tricks and some ideas that you can use in your own playing. When you're playing guitar solos or just guitar in general, you're probably not going to be using dive bombs all the time, but they are a really fun thing to do from time to time. They can really spice up a guitar solo, especially if you want to get into a bit of an 80s rock vibe, and they're just something that sound quite cool anyway. You definitely don't want to overuse these things because they can become a little bit cliche and a little bit cheesy if we do too much of it. But in this video, we're going to explore that anyway because we like to be cheesy as guitar players. So we're going to check out some dive bomb tips and tricks. We're going to be looking at things like open string dive bombs, using chords with dive bombs, harmonics, pinch harmonics, and also raising the pitch of the bar as well. All of the different types of dive bombs we talk about are timestamped down below in the description. So if you want to go check out any of those, you can just go down there, hit the timestamp, and it'll take you straight to the part you're looking for. So to get the most out of your dive bombs, you're going to need a guitar equipped with a Floyd Rose tremolo system or a similar locking tremolo system. So this is essentially a tremolo system that adjusts the pitch of the strings by moving the tremolo arm, but a Floyd Rose system locks at the bridge and at the nut. So that means if you're doing extreme movements with the arm, you're always going to return to the pitch that we set it to start with. This means that we're not going to slip out of tune. You can use these principles on a guitar with a vintage non-locking tremolo, but be warned if you do some of the extreme movements, the guitar may not return to pitch as intended because those systems are not designed for that kind of use. So the first type of dive bomb I'm going to talk about is just an open string dive bomb. So we're just going to hit the low E string and we're going to dive. So you can see that all I'm doing is just playing the string, like so. And then when the string is ringing, I'm pushing the tremolo arm all the way down. Now this guitar has what's called a top-mounted Floyd Rose, so there's no recess underneath the unit. You will get some Floyd Rose guitars that have a recess under here, which means there's a little bit more movement, especially when it comes to pulling the bar up. This is more of the late 70s, early 80s kind of Floyd when the system was first devised, where it was originally retrofitted to strats. So there's no route underneath, so this is a slightly more limited movement, but we can still get all of the same type of sounds. So this type of dive bomb is just something really fun to put at the end of a lick. Think of the sounds of the Van Halen track eruption for this kind of thing. You just could be playing a lick and then hit an open string at the end and just dive that bar down, like so. <laughs> Open string dive bombs can be done on any string. I just did it there on the low E as an example, but you could be playing in the key of A, and your A could be the note that you dive. This also works with fretted notes, so just because I'm talking about them as open string dive bombs, you could do it on a singular fretted note as well. So once again, let's say I'm talking about A. So that's basically the same technique, but instead of using the open A string that time, I used the A note here on the fifth fret of the low E string. This is just a great one to add at the end of a lick. Hit the lowest note or the key note of the lick you're playing and just dive that bar right down. It gives you a bit of a Van Halen style vibe. So the second way we can use dive bombs is sort of the same as the first way, but instead of using the root of the scale or the lowest note here, we're just going to use another fretted note in the scale. So this could just be of your own choice. In the middle of a lick, you might think this is the note we want to dive. So it's the same principle, we're just using a higher note. So this is a really easy one to get on board with because let's just say I'm playing an A again, I might do this. So I was just running down my scale, I picked a note, which in this case was the fifth fret of the G, which is the C note. I did my dive on that, and then I resolved it to the A note on the seventh fret of the D string. We can also do dive bombs with harmonics. So this is really fun because we can choose wherever we want our harmonics to be. So let's just say the fifth fret of the G, which is a natural harmonic. I could let that harmonic ring and do a dive bomb. This works for any harmonic. So let's just play a few different ones here. So that's just using any existing harmonic on the guitar. We can also find additional harmonics, which are quite hard to find, but they exist between frets. 
when you hear guitar players like Dimebag Daryl or Steve Vai do these kind of whammy bar things, they're getting these insanely high-pitched harmonics, which we can't quite find in our regular natural harmonic position. There are a bunch of harmonics between the second and fourth frets that exist. Now, one of my favorites is the third fret. This is quite hard to find, but it's just after where the fret marker is on this particular guitar. We have this harmonic, and it doesn't sound very pleasing on its own, but when we play that and dive it, quite a cool high-pitched harmonic sound. You can experiment with these ones and find different harmonics along the way. An easy way to do this is just to lightly rest your finger above the string you want to find a harmonic on and just pick that string. And there's also some inside the fourth fret. So you can find harmonics all over the guitar and then just do that dive on those harmonics. We can also do the same technique with pinched harmonics. So let's say we're playing a lick and we want to throw a pinched harmonic in like so. On that pitch harmonic, I might want to just push the bar down. It's exactly the same principle as a natural harmonic, but we're just pinching instead. And again, you can use that all over the guitar to great effect. We can also play multiple harmonics at the same time. Now, this is just something that can be quite a bit of fun. So let's say I'm gonna play the fifth on the B and E as a natural harmonic. I'm gonna play them one after the other and then dive the bar. You can also do that on the seventh. Twelfth or just anywhere else I can find two harmonics directly on top of each other. They don't necessarily have to be on the same fret, we could use two different frets. Just any pairing of harmonics will work the same way. We could also just play them together. That one sounds a little bit more extreme because we're actually having a little bit of a clash from the harmonics as well, especially as we dive the bar. But again, it's quite a fun technique to throw in. One of my favorite ways to use dive bombs is also while doing a note trill. So a trill is when we do a consistent hammer on and pull off between two notes like this. So I'm gonna use the fifth fret on the G and the seventh. I'm gonna pick the first note, which is gonna be this fifth fret note. And I'm just gonna do a continuous hammer on and pull off with my third finger on the seventh fret. You'll only see me pick once. The hammer on and pull off is gonna keep the string going. While I'm doing this technique, I can then push the bar down. Works with any combination of notes, so I could be trilling an open string. Or I could be really high up the neck. Anyway, that'll work. That's quite a fun one to throw into a guitar solo. So let's say I'm playing another lick. This time I'll go for E. I can throw a trill in there with a dive bomb just to create a cool effect. You'll hear that a lot in Van Halen solos and guitar players like Iron Maiden's Dave Murray have also used that one quite a lot. If you want to see how Iron Maiden's Dave Murray uses trills with a whammy bar in guitar solos, you can go over to the Lick Library YouTube channel or you can click the link in the top corner of this video and check out the Dave Murray guitar style video where I talk about that technique in context in his guitar style. And the final one we're going to talk about, and this is just a bit of fun, is pulling the bar now, like I said, this guitar has very limited up movement because it doesn't have the recess on the top. You can get Floyd Rose systems where you can really pull them up quite far. I personally prefer the ones that don't go up that far because I don't use this technique too often myself, but it's a really fun technique to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a harmonic. That was the fifth fret on the G. And we're gonna pull the bar up. It's kind of the opposite of a dive bomb because we're actually going the opposite way. But what you can do that's really fun is play the harmonic, go down with the bar, and then up. Or what you could do, and this is really fun, is push the bar down before you pick the string, play the harmonic with the bar already in the down position, and then pull it up. So there you go, there are some tips and tricks on how to do dive bombs. 
Like I said at the start of the video, you're not going to be using these all the time. You're not going to put them into every guitar solo. It's just a bit of fun. And it's just a different way to kind of express ourselves with a fun technique. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you've taken some of these tips and tricks away and put them into your own playing. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite dive bomb move is. Love to hear how you guys are using dive bombs in your own playing. Don't forget to subscribe to the Lick Library YouTube channel for more free guitar lesson videos just like this one. And if you want to take your guitar playing to that next level, head on over to licklibrary.com. Check out the library over there. There's a huge array of lessons from really basic stuff through to more advanced stuff, including album playthroughs, player style videos, and everything in between. Check that out. It will really help you take your playing to that next level. Thank you all so much for watching as always. And I'll see you guys very soon.